Effort to try to put an end to drunk driving, the National Transportation Safety Board is recommending that all new vehicles in the U.S. be equipped with blood alcohol monitoring systems. If that happens, the devices could reduce the number of alcohol-related crashes, one of the biggest causes of highway deaths in the United States. Ground Force Justine Waldman explains how it would work. It is just a recommendation, but a system that would shut down a car if the driver is drunk could be a reality. In this case, the car is the last line of defense. And this is what we are trying to build here. San Jose State University engineering professor Ahmed Benafa tells me the new alcohol monitoring proposed by the National Transportation Safety Board would come in two forms, breath. This is while you're sitting, you're breathing, it's going to start picking up, you know, the level of alcohol in your breath. And touch. When you are starting the car, this is one thing. The other one, when you're holding the steering wheel, also there will be some sensors to make sure that the level is, you know, below the, uh, the legal level. The new push to make roads safer was included in a report about a horrific crash last year in which a drunk driver collided head-on with another vehicle near Fresno, killing both adult drivers and seven children. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reported that roadway deaths in the U.S. are at crisis levels. Nearly 43,000 people were killed last year, the greatest number in 16 years. The NTSB has no regulatory authority. It can only ask other agencies to act. The recommendation is designed to put pressure on the NHTSA to move. It's um, actually overdue. Well, we are uh, we were about convenience in the cars, worried about futuristic features in the car. This is for safety. And this is not only just for safety for you, it's safety for people outside the car. The federal government said that the technology could be ready for widespread use as soon as 2024. In the newsroom, I'm Justine Waldman, Cron 4 News.